Hey, this is your girl Tashin. How you doing? How you feeling? Hope you're feeling good. Yes. Yes, the two Ronnies, of course. The courtroom quiz. Why do I want to laugh already? And I didn't even watch the video yet. Because <laughs> these guys are funny. Um, let's get straight to it. You are, are you not, Broderick William Jerville, 14 Rangoon Terrace, Biggleswade. I am, yes. What the hell? You are, are you not, a forensic scientist specializing in the study of rare blood stains? No. <laughs> are you a road sweeper? No. Are you a trick cyclist at Billy Smart Circus? No. Um. This is awkward. Uh, you don't even got the right person. You don't know who he's talking to. Could I, uh, could I use this product that you make at all? <laughs> uh, not personally, you wouldn't know. This eyebrow. <laughs> has it, has, has what you've got to do, something to do with, um, with, with animals? Yes, oh. yes, it has, yes. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Has it got, has it got something to do with, uh, Injured animals? Man? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> Is this a courtroom or a game show? <laughs> Do you make artificial beaks for disabled budgery guards? <laughs> <laughs> very well guessed, counsel. Thank you very much, Eliza. Now, Mr. Gerbil, you are charged with first-degree murder. <laughs> How do you plead? Not guilty. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to prove you're not guilty, starting from now. On March the 27th this year, uh -huh. a dramatic incident took place at the home of Sir Hugo Milverton in Weybridge. What was it? He was found lying on his study floor. He'd been poisoned, he'd been strangled, he'd been shot five times through the head and stabbed 15 times in the back. Ew! Correct. And what Whoa. was the conclusion? Someone wanted him dead. <laughs> of the police? He was dead. <laughs> Correct. The precise details of Sir Hugo's death were never made public. So how could you possibly have known about them unless it was you who murdered him? Uh, pass. Right. <laughs> How do you explain that a fortnight earlier you had purchased uh, a nine-inch dagger, two yards of piano wire, 12-bore shotgun, six bottles of concentrated strychnine from a Littlewoods Whoa. shopping catalogue? <laughs> you may answer, you may answer. Uh, I was trying to control some green fly. <laughs> You're wrong though, green fly. With a 12-bore shotgun? Yes, well, the particular green fly that infest my plants, they migrate every year from Polynesia to Peckham, and they can grow up to 36 inches in length. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Surely an Orongo is a kind of Tibetan yak, whose horns are ground down to powder by the locals and made into a bedtime drink instead of Horlicks. <laughs> well, very plausible, my love, but I'm afraid I'm going to plump for uh, Mr. Gerbil's giant Polynesian green fly. <laughs> searched uh, by P.C. Bramley? Yes, he had a rifle through my pockets. And what did he find? A rifle. <laughs> and was not that rifle loaded with blanks? Uh... Was not that rifle loaded with blankety blanks, Mr. Gerald? Uh... What do you say? Bullets? Bullets or cartridges, I would have said. What did you put, my lord? <laughs> These guys, I, I'm, I'm quite sure some of y'all already know already that, you know, they're the writers and they're so clever. Stuff that they come up with. How did they even come up with all these materials? They just sat around and said, okay, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. They just so creative and so talented. It, it's amazing. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Mr. Gerbo, where were you at the time of the murder? Uh, I was in bed, my lord, reading. Uh-huh. Reading what? Uh... Oh, 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 oh reading okay. a book, yes, an old book, book? yes. Okay, okay. Two words, two words, two words, title, yes. Two words. First, first title, yes, yes. Okay. Trousers, <laughs> trousers, no, short trousers, shorts, trunks. Oh, underpants, wife rights. Skirts? No, what? No, ladies' wife rights. Oh, uh -huh. knickers. Knickers. Uh -huh. I, I don't yes. know. Knickers off. Oh, off. No knickers on. Oh, dear. Uh, knickers without knickers. Nicolas. 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 Uh -huh. Second word, yes. 
Yes. <laughs> sounds like, sounds like, sounds like. Sounds like, sounds like what? Because it sounds like. Waste? Uh, yes. Because, because you mean. Because, waste? What? Parson? Parson! Parson! Nicholas Parson! Nicholas. Oh, Parson's nose. Nicholas Parson. You can't get nickels on a Parson's nose. I've never heard of that book. Council. No, Nicholas B. Yes, B. B. What? Nickel B. Nicholas, Nicholas, Nickel B. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I think I've had enough nickels now. It's time we had a verdict. Uh, I'm going to play my Joker, my lad. As you wish, as you wish Council. Where is this? I hereby um, uh, call upon the foreman of the jury, Mrs. Doris Natwick. Uh, come on down. Come on down. Mrs. <laughs> Natwick, do you find Mr. Jerbill? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty as charged, my lord. <laughs> in that case, what are you I sentence the accused to 20 years in prison. Uh, 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 but you played your joker, counsel. So we'll double it up to 40. Are you happy? Are you happy? And that's all we have time for now. But do join us next week, and who knows, you could stand trial for murder, blackmail, and extortion. <laughs> Until then. It is goodbye to Doris Netflix, Roderick Jabil, and our champion tanto, Adrian Wigweasel. creative i like that one. Oh my god <laughs> like you're gonna be doing 40 years in prison you shouldn't be smiling oh man but if there's any other videos you would like me to react to comment below let your girl know also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so go down there and subscribe and uh check these right here i have so many uh to uh the two ronnies on my channel i've been reacting to these guys non-stop I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon, so check them out, and I'll see you later.